What's going on guys? Ryan McFarlane here. Today I'm going to go over some tips on how to take care of your skim board. You know, we spend a lot of money on these skim boards, so you, you know, you want it to last as long as it can, stay in the best shape possible. First, you want to keep your board away from extreme heat. And what I mean by that is keep it out of direct sunlight and don't leave it in your car. What happens when your board's exposed to extreme heat is the resin and fiberglass will start to detach itself from the foam in your board. Uh, this is known as delamination. And the delamination will cause your board to kind of bubble up. To avoid this, you want to keep your board out of direct sunlight. So if you're at the beach and you're not in the water, you're taking a little break, take a towel and cover your board or you know make sure it's under a tent in some shade or have a skimboard bag where you can pop it in there just so it's out of the direct sunlight. And then you also don't wanna leave your board in your car for a long period of time. You know, if you're traveling to the spot, that's okay. But, you know, after each session, you wanna find a nice safe place to keep it. Um, ideally like a garage or in, in a room, um, just out of the sun and a cool area and get into the habit of, you know, putting it back when you're done so it stays nice and safe. And that'll help make the board last longer. My second piece of advice is to rinse your board off after each session. Uh, most of us are riding our boards in salt water and salt is corrosive. So these boards are built pretty tough, so the salt's not gonna you know, eat away at it immediately. It's gonna take a long time. But if you don't rinse your board off after each session, it's gonna start to damage your board over time. and an easy way to prevent that is just finding a hose or a shower at the beach or even at your house and just give it a quick rinse, try to knock all that salt off, um, and then once it's dry, get it right back inside. So those are those are probably the two best ways to, you know, help the longevity of your board. It's going to last much longer if you do those two things. Um, and then on top of that, a, a way to kind of keep the board fresh to you is constantly apply a new coat of wax, maybe after every five sessions or so. And what this does is, one, it gives you better grip, obviously, but two, the longer your wax stays on your board, so once it becomes, you know, old wax and it kind of has that dirt and grimy look to it, it really adds a lot of weight to your board. And as skimboarders, we don't want more weight. You know, we're already gliding on top of the water, so less weight, the better. I would say every five sessions, five to 10. And you also wanna make sure you're changing your wax seasonally too as the water temp is changing. If you're curious about a good product to use for removing the wax from your board, you can go on the WaveZone Skimboards website and, uh, and buy the WaveZone board maintenance kit. It comes with a bunch of really awesome tools um, from wax removers to scrapers to speed enhancer and a couple of bars of wax too. So. Nice little bundle, they'll send it right to your door. So if you make these, uh, these tips a habit, I promise you your board will last much longer. Um, me personally, my pro model board will last me anywhere from nine months to a year in good condition. And that's me skimming three, four times a week. Um, and when the waves are big, you know, sometimes you just get unlucky and a, a lip comes down and snaps your board like this one behind me over here. But I, usually, I expect to get a solid year out of each board. Back in my amateur days, I, a good board would last me almost two years. Um, the better you get, the faster they tend to deteriorate because you're just ripping harder. <laughs> but yeah, as, if you do these tips I just went over today, you know, don't leave your board in direct sunlight. Don't leave it in your car. Basically, keep it away from extreme heat. And two... Rinse your board off after each session. Get that salt off the board. And three, switch the wax out every once in a while. Like I said, five to 10 sessions is a good rule of thumb and seasonally as well. So yeah, go on WaveZone's website, get you that board maintenance kit and uh, take care of your stick. All right, guys, happy skimming.